Honestly, people don't change needles until they start to have problems with their serger. They tend to just run them hard and that's okay. But you will find with the changing of your needles, you are gonna get a better result. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna just take out um, the, the yellow thread here. That's the left needle. I'm gonna need to retrieve my small screwdriver from inside the front door of my serger. You're gonna notice you have an L and an R. So if you're taking out your left needle, you're gonna take out or loosen the screw next to the L at the top. Now, notice that your needles are two different heights. The left needle is always higher than the right needle. So when I go and put this back in, I can look at a glance, did I get it placed properly and high enough into the, into the serger? So just go ahead and hold on to it. There are some tools that you can purchase that allow you to not have to get your fingers in there. Um, they do have the flat side to the back, which is nice, but remember, these are not your regular sewing machine needles. They are a special size. The EL uh, Times 705, you got a few in your accessory bag. Usually 80s and 90s are fine. They usually don't come in a ton of different types. You just They're kind of just universal. You just use them. It's easy. All right, so when you go to put this back in, you want flat side to the back, slide it next to, and we're talking right next to the other needle. Slide it all the way up. So if you've tightened this, this screw because you used it with, say, just the right needle for a while, and that screw went all the way in, remember you need to loosen that all the way back out so that needle can get high enough and then tighten the screw. Check the height. I see that the left needle is higher than the right needle, so I am good to go. Sometimes what I do is if I am using just the right needle and I'm moving to get to just using the left needle, what I'll do is put the left needle in, check the height, and then remove the right one at the end. That way I always have kind of a visual check while I'm switching the needles from one side to the other. And then just go ahead, we'll just find that little thread. I've got my foot down so that thread's really hard to pull out. Pull that a little bit with the presser foot up and then I can re-thread and I'm ready to go.